In this video, I'm going to make some dot plots, or what are called strip chart. So the first thing I'm doing here is just creating a variable x that consists of, I think it's about 20 numbers there. So I've got some data there, and I'm just going to make a strip chart, just strip chart x. You'll see it just gives me a flat line there. So it just says, like for example, I have some values at 5, but it doesn't tell me if I have more than one 5. So the next thing I'm going to going to do here is just add the option strip chart x method equals stack and you'll see that now we know how many values we have at each point so at five we have one two three four values the next set of options i have here the at c equals 0.05 says instead of starting the chart in the middle of the page let's put it down a little bit lower and then i'm going to change the plotting character and the CEX just controls the size of the plotting character. And that's one of the things you kind of have to play around with once you've made a chart. And then LAS equal 1 just controls the direction of the orientation of the letters there, whether it's going to be uh, sideways or whatever. I'm not sure I actually even need that in this case. But frame plot equal false is going to take the, the box around from the outside there. And then the x limb is just the limits of my x's, and I knew I was going to be between 0 and 20, and I wanted to have it go down to 0, so I did. And then main is just a title there. When you go and do this for your own strip chart, you'll have to, um, the things you'll need to look at is the CEX, and the, of course, the title, and the x limits. But let's have a look at what this looks like. And to me, that looks a little bit better than what we had before. Although I guess I probably would want to do something about this space here. Um, for example, I might just change that to one. Let's see what we what this looks like now. Now that's not good. Let's go the other way. And you could go larger and larger with that if you wanted to. And so in the next part, I'm going to use a little bit uh, larger data set. I'm going to create a variable A, and I'm going to have it come from a normal distribution. I'm selecting 1,000 numbers with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 10. That's just to create a data set. Uh, if I just did that, I'm going to have a continuous variable. Let's, I'll do that. and We'll see what just a strip chart looks like. And you can see it's just a flat line, but the continuous variable, it's not going to select 101. It's going to have 101.15, 100.16, and then the observations aren't going to be at specific points on the scale. So that's why I have this A equal as integer A. That's just so that the data set that I've created consists entirely of uh, integers. So anyway, I'll do that. And now let's see what the strip chart looks like still. Uh, since we didn't stack, it's just going to give us a straight line there. So now here's what the way I would do it is method equals stack. Just changing the location on the graph to put it near the, near the bottom. Uh, I did change the CEX to 1. You, again, that's just something you need to play around with. And my X limb, since I have a mean of 100 and a sample size and a standard deviation of 10, I went with 50 and 150, 50 and 150. You might want to try something a little wider than that to begin with, just so you don't have any, if there were any specific outliers or anything. I think I'll do that. I'll go from 30 to 170 just to make sure I don't have any outliers that I miss. And then um, my title again. And you got to highlight the whole thing. And there we go. And again, it looks like I could change from, let's say, 60 to, I would go to 60 to 140 there, and we'll get all of the data. And that looks pretty good for a strip chart. Again, we've got 1,000 points on there. Okay, this last part I have here is just to, instead of putting a title, I'm going to put text on the uh, graph here. 
and you know, let's do this first here. This is going back to our x variable. And what I have here is text at 5. Here's 5. That's x is equal to 5. And then kind of have to play around with the height. I played around with it a little bit, and 1 is going to be somewhere around here. And so you can just put some text on the uh, graph. And again, you can play around with that to see, to put it the way you want it. And there you have it.